Hello everyone, welcome to LIA Prep. My name is Samir Sardana, a plus educator on AN Academy. We are discussing CAT 2020 slot 1 quant question and 24 questions have been discussed and we are left with two questions. Both of these two questions are from the topic of function. So to attend my live sessions on AN Academy Plus, you can join AN Academy Plus using the referral code LRDI Samir. I'm also starting a plus batch for student of CAT 2021 arithmetic without formula approach with conceptual shortcut with 1000 practice questions part 2 and this course will be launched on plus on 3rd of February the timing would be 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. similar to this there will be another courses to, will, uh, that will be launched every month for the students preparing for CAT 2021. If you are going to appear for CAT 2021, you can join me on Unacademy Plus where I'll be launching new courses every month for CAT student. And this is the referral code that you can use to get 10% off. Now, let's have a look at these two questions. Question number 25 from the topic of function. It says f of 5 plus x is equal to f of 5 minus x for every real x. And f of x is equal to 0 has four distinct real roots then the sum of the root is. So a function f is defined in terms of x such that, so it says there's a function, right, function in terms of f of x, right, which we do not know what exactly is that function, right, uh, in terms of x, how that function is expressed, we do not know. But there is a relation that we know that f of 5 plus x, f of 5 plus x is given to us as f of 5 minus x. For every real x, for every real x, f of 5 plus x is given to us as 5 minus x. But if I want to find out the function f of x, which is expressed in term of x, what I need is a value of f of x. That means if I want to put, f, if I want to find out the value of x here, you see that I need to put, I need to put x as, I need to put the value of x as 5 minus x. You see? If I put the value of x as 5 minus x, 5 and 5 will get cancelled and I will get the expression in terms of x. Now, let's put x as 5 minus x. Right? If I used x as 5 minus x here, then you can see that using this value here, I will have 5 minus 5 plus x. 5 and 5 will get cancelled and I will have a relation, I will have a relation which can be represented as f of 10 minus x equal to f of x, right? That means f of x is a kind of function which is which which have the same value as f of 10 minus x. Now, whatever function f of x is represented, whether it's a quadratic equation or a cubic equation or whatever is the expression of f of x, I know that in that expression, this relation will hold true. That means if I'm saying that x is one of the root of the equation, the other root of, the, of that expression would be 10 minus x, right? So whatever is a function f of x, if x is one of the root, 10 minus x will be the another root. And it, it is given that it has four distinct real root. It is given that it has four distinct real root x. अगर इस फंक्शन के फोर रूट्स हैं बच्चों, so अगर x एक रूट होगा, तो दूसरा रूट 10 minus x होगा। अगर y एक रूट होगा, तो दूसरा रूट 10 y minus होगा, 10 minus y होगा। That means the four root of this function would be x, 10 minus x, y and 10 minus y. And do we know to do we need to find out the value of x and y? No. Why? Because in the question we are supposed to find out the sum of the root. So finding the sum of the root x 10 minus x plus y plus 10 minus y. So you see that the sum of the root of the equation is nothing but 10 plus 10 that is 20. That's the answer of the question which is option number 4. Very simple question, not a difficult one, easy one, right? Last question of CAT 2020 slot 1. It says among 100 students, X1 have birthdays in January, X2 have birthdays in February and so on. If the X0 value is denoted as max of this, right? So X0 is a kind of function whose value depends on the maximum of all these values, right? 
So for example, if I say the value of x1 is 5, x2 is 6, and 3, 4, and so on, right? Up to 1. So whatever is a maximum value, let's say Sam is a maximum value that has been used, the value of x0 will be the maximum of these values, let's say which is 7, right? Let's say all of the rest of the values are less than 7, then the output will be 7. So this is how you're supposed to read this function. And what is x1? x2, x3, and so on. x1, x2, x3 is basically the number of students having the birthday in January, February, March, April, up to December. And we have total 100 students. Now, 100 students are supposed to be distributed, are supposed to be distributed among 12 months in such a way that I should be getting the least possible value of x0. I need to find out the smallest possible value. See that? If I want to minimize the value of x0, I need to put as possible, as small value possible, right, in these in these expressions, right, in, in these numbers. So I need to take, I need to divide 100 values, 100 students value among 12 months in such a way that all of them have the least possible value. So if 100 students, 100 students are supposed to be distributed, 100 students per day are supposed to be distributed among 12 months in such a way that each of these values is as small as possible, then you will try to distribute them equally. If 100 values are distributed among 12 months, you see that 100 by 12, the quotient value will be 8. But still, there will be a remainder of 4. That means, I can take, I can take 8 values, I can take 8 values with a value of 8. Let's say, x1 is 8, x2 is 8, x3 is 8, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, right? So 8 into 8, 64. If I, if I, if I take all values of all 12 values equivalent to 8, that would be 96. I'm still left with a 4 value. So I need to take these values, I need to add these values also, right? Right? So this will become 9, this will become 9, this will become 9, this will become 9. That means I need to suppose that 8, eight student right, will have the birthday in January, 8 students will have the birthday in February and so on till the month of uh, August. And then 9 students have the birthday in the month of September, 9 in the month of October, 9 in the month of November and 9 in the month of December. Why I am not adding 4 to only one value? Because if I add 4 to one value, that means if I assume that 12 students have birthday in any one of the month, any one of the month, then I will not have the smallest possible value. Because I need to minimize the value, so I need to distribute the total value equally, right, among the 12 students. As much equal as possible, right? So, I distributed uh, 64 value, the value of 64 equally among 8 months and the rest of the value has been distributed equally among the 4 with 9 values to each student. So in this case, now if I have to find out the value of x0 which is maximum of 8, 8, 8, 8, 8 and 9, 9, 9, 9. You see that maximum value come out will be 9. So 9 is the correct answer of the question. That's it. The purpose was to maxim, uh, minimize it, so therefore I was dividing 100 students among 12 months as closely as possible to reduce down the value, right, to make it as minimum as possible. So the answer to the question is that. This was the last question of CAT 2020 slot 1 and that's it. We are done with those, all those questions. I, don't, I did not find any question challenging in CAT 2020 slot 1. All questions were doable, right. Uh, in fact, 40 minutes was sufficient to do all these 26 questions, but because none of the questions was challenging, right? All the questions were based on the basic concept. So keep this in mind for CAT exam preparation, you need a proper concept clarity rather than just ratification of formulas, right? So to attend to do the complete arithmetic without formulas as well as algebra and geometry with the conceptual shortcut approaches, you can join me on Alacademy Plus. I'm starting this course of uh, arithmetic from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. on 3rd of February. LRDS is the referral code that you can use. Thank you so much for joining the session. See you in the next class. Thank you.